What the plan is to do today is to show you how to record a Skype interview. As you can see, I've already got Wiretap Studio started and I've selected it so that I can record the line in, which is where my microphone is connected, or I could use the internal microphone if I wanted to. So that's the line in sorted out. And then the other thing is to record from Skype. So it's going to be as simple as that. I could record from other things that I have going as well. Amadeus Pro, I could record in directly from that. It only lets you bring in two at a time, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice to be able to record three channels. So that maybe you had something going with, uh, with Skype and maybe also with um, something else coming as well. Maybe you want to have some background music playing while you was doing it. But that really doesn't matter too much because you can add it later. Although it would be perhaps good if you could do it so that you could record in from perhaps uh, a different microphone at the same time. Next, we're going to get a call started with Michael Smith. And the first thing to do is to click on record. Hello, Michael. Hi, Dave. You sound bad there. Are you using the internal microphone? Uh, yeah, that's what I always use. You're going to have to get yourself an external microphone. It'll sound a lot, a lot better, it will. Oh, I, I have. I have I have, ex I have better microphones. I've got a mixer board. All right, then. So anyway, that was just a quick recording I need to make there. I'm recording a screen cast at the moment so that's great thanks very much and we'll talk on uh, wednesday or thursday then okay thanks dave all right thanks a lot then bye bye now now we've hung up on that one this is still recording you see the counter still going there one of the things that you'll notice with it is that it tells you what sort of uh uh recording that you're making so at the moment it's doing a i f f stereo 44.1 kilohertz and 32 bits you can change that in the settings this bit over here where it's counting up is telling us the size of the file so at the moment it's 35 megabytes, 36.2 megabytes, and it's growing as we go there. So that's all you need to do. Let's um, click on stop. And the next thing that happens is for it to start building up this uh, thing. Let's build it up fairly quickly. So we've got uh, two sides of the conversation here. If I change this one over here, that one is, I think, my side of the conversation. So if I want to, I can clear that out altogether and just listen to this other one over here, or just uh, recall that one. Hey Dave. So there you go, that's what I was saying about being the other side of the conversation. And this side over here is my side of the conversation. You sound bad there, you're using the internal microphone. Uh, yeah, that's what I always use. Yeah. So you can hear that even though I've turned this down to zero, there's still a little bit coming through on that one there, but that doesn't matter too much. We can. Uh, it's going through to two separate channels, so I'm not worried about that. So what I do when I'm uh, working on this here, I bring this up so it's around about the same sort of height. So it means that it's about the same sort of volume as the my input. So there we go. That's the peaks are around about the same height. And I click on File and Save. OK, that's saved it. It's saved it as the built-in input recording. So if I just uh, cleared that at the moment, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change that to uh, Michael. So now I have this saved in my YTAP Studio library and what I have to do next is to be able to get it into Amadeus Pro. So what I like to do with this is I go with a double click and save lossless recording to folder. I could do a save to folder as well. I think that just saves it and it comes in as an AIF file. In fact, we'll do the two things and we'll just uh, see what happens with this. I'm going to save it into the podcasting file on here. Let's just... Uh, Click on open. So that's saved that there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do save lossless recording to folder. And it go in there as Michael Test. So there before, there's the previous one we saved before, Michael Test. AIFF. Let's save that. So what I need to do now is to get Amadeus Pro working. And we'll go to Finder. And go to Podcasting. Let's see what happens when we put in this Michael Test AIFF into uh, We'll drag that and drop it in. And as you can see, what's happened here is that it's put everything all onto one single track. Let's just get rid of this other uh, track for a moment. So there we go, everything. It's all on one track. So I can't split that up into two separate areas. And unfortunately, I can't split it. Or if I do split it, it's split it up, but both tracks are both split to the same. So that is why I don't use the save to folder option. Let's get rid of that. And this time we're going to go to uh, this one here, michaeltest.mov. 
what we want to do is we want to take this and drag it and drop it in there. Okay, so now you see what we've got is we've got uh, Michael Test side one dot MOV and Michael Test side two dot MOV. What we need to do is to go back to our applications again, go to Movie Tools, and this time do convert to AIFF. That's what I prefer to use. So what I want to do is grab those two things there, drag them and drop them into that tool there. Okay, so there's side one just been completed. Now let's wait for the tool to convert that to AIFF as well for side two. There we go. We now have two sides of the conversation in two separate files. Now what we want to do is we want to, let's just uh, open with Amadeus Pro, convert to mono. This I think is better in mono. And on record. Hello, Michael. Hi, you sound bad there. You're using the internal microphone. Okay, so there's my side of the conversation. So I can label that if I want to. Let's call that David. And let's bring the other side of the conversation into it as well. So if I grab this bit here, I want to just drag it and drop it. So there we go. Brought that in. And we're going to convert that to mono as well. And there you go. You can see that I've got them both into uh, Amadeus. And now I can edit each side of the conversation separately. Yeah, that's what I always use. You're going to have to get yourself an external microphone. It's a lot, lot better, it will. Now, see this here. We've got a good section here where we've got uh, some noise. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go to Effects and Denoising. Tell it to sample the noise. Then I'm going to select all. And go to Effects and go to suppress noise and that suppressed all the noise out of that as you can see another thing that we could do to clean up this sound is that we can uh, take this section here for instance and let's put some markers in there so basically what I'm doing is I'm going to generate silence in that area there effects and generate silence so we're going to do that for the duration of the selection and click on OK so that has taken the noise out of that uh, track there, which uh, was just coming through. Oh, I, I have, I have, it, I have, ex I have better microphones. I've got a mixer board. So there you go. That's what it sounds like now. I think it sounds better than it did before. 